All right, Katie, thank you very much. As we get underway, North Carolina will have the first possession here as Virginia kicks off through the end zone. Some of these known passing situations have been a bit of a struggle for North Carolina this year. Much better in the RPO game. Back to throw. Pressure on him. He eludes a tackler and he fires this one complete. He got it to Walston, the tight end. This is really well done by Sam Howell. You see the blitz come. Jackson gets through clean. But that's just great strength in the pocket by Sam Howell. In a shallow cross right into his line of vision. 16-yard gain. He's going to go deep right away here. He's got a wide receiver open and he's going to get into the end zone for a touchdown. That one caught by Deami Brown for 54 yards. You talk about a quick strike. With Deami Brown, so much speed, does a nice job of fielding the high snap. Looks to his right, it moves the safety, and Deami Brown just uses his speed to run right past Devontae Cross in a beautifully thrown deep ball by Sam Howell. That thing was thrown about 55 yards. And he's got his fine tight end in motion there, Paul Jan, who made one of the great catches in the conference last week. A quick strike here to Kemp, who's been his number one target. He's been sensational, really. That goes for 17 yards. That's his 42nd catch already this season, Tim. Does have to be something you're concerned about in terms of protecting him. Going to keep it on the ground on this carry. And Keaton Thompson will gain two. So fourth down and one. And the handoff. And again, staying on the ground to pick up that yard. It's Talapapa. And Virginia, well, they say they have that first down. First and ten for Armstrong. He's going to hand off for Thompson. Nice hole there. He finds it. Good blocking in front of him before he is taken down. But a really fine carry for a 14-yard pickup for Keaton Thompson. Stuff for, for Keaton Thompson. They've identified him as really one of their better athletes and as they're looking for more explosive plays offensive. It's open there. He's just, you know, Sean Henry's got to make that catch because the ball's on the money. Third and four, and on a handoff to Alapapa straight ahead. Now you're going to hear us refer to a player who's not in this game probably more than once. You know, maybe didn't have huge expectations coming into the season, but they've missed him big time. He's going to scamper again, and a nice hole opens up for Armstrong. Across the 10, he dives, he gets the pylon, and a touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown run for Brennan Armstrong, and a very quick answer for the Cavaliers. Plays that you need to Virginia's offense. It really looks like a pass, but it essentially, you know, it turns into a quarterback draw. As Shane Simpson kind of leads up and is a blocker, and the offensive line decides to rally around their quarterback as well. He's looking to his right, doesn't like what he sees, and just look at what happens. You know, Chris Glazier starts getting down the field in a basic. So Delaney on for the extra point, and that one is going to clang off of the upright. He didn't get it. They move the football 75 yards in 85 seconds in the opening drive. Now will throw short, and they found him very quickly. Carter trying to get free, and eventually taken down and lost six yards, and a good job by Noah Taylor. This is basically a sweep to Carter. They let one of the ball on the perimeter, but if you can ble beat the wide receivers, obviously puts North Carolina behind schedule. Now back to throw. Second down and 17 and complete to Brown, who is dragged out of bounds. Dabo Sweeney came out after the game and said he will also miss the Notre Dame game next week. A little bobble there by Howe, but they're going to get the playoff. And here comes Carter. Carter cutting to the sideline. And a huge gain as he steps out. Off to a great start. He has 38. He's going to be moving to the left. And then Carter just does a nice job of pressing the hole and then getting up field. That's surprising against a Virginia defense. That he wants to make it hurt. That one pops up, how very short-handed, but they're going to get to him, and down he goes. No place to hide there for Sam Howell. High, and basically he's had to, to kind of deal with it. And when you play these mesh point offenses where you, you know, you're faking, you know, fly sweeps. The double use, so the battle goes on, on and off the gridiron as well. Howell back, but he's going to take immediate contact. He cannot get free as he is taken down by Charles Snowden. 
Don't look because he could be everywhere tonight. Right side of your screen, number 11, and Sam Howell's trying to get Javante Williams out of the backfield, but they don't pick up Charles Snowden. He's six foot seven, about 240 pounds, and I don't know how. Along of 40 yards this season. And this one is up. And that would head it for the uprights, and that one is good. He nails it. His longest of the season. Into their best wide receiver so far this season. Left-handed quarterback gets this one free. And a complete pass. There goes Simpson down the side. No one's going to pick him up. He gets to the 10, the 5. He is into the end zone. 71 yards. Shade Simpson. And no one caught him. And the points continue to come very quickly here tonight in Charlottesville. Linebacker for North Carolina. He's in the middle of your screen. He just comes underneath Billy Kemp, who's trying to set a little bit of traffic for Simpson rather than going over the top. And because he comes underneath, there's no one else left there. As the isolation period and then the cardiac screening as well. Sam Howell trying to spin away, but at the 20-yard line, he is dropped once again. It's his new best friend, Charles Snowden. Version of the off uh, option where he's got the ability to give it to the back or spit the ball outside. He doesn't like it outside because it's covered. He's stuck holding the football. And I will say, I do think this is an area where North Carolina finds himself in pass protecting form, and we've seen that happen tonight. Now you find yourself in known passing situations. I was going to throw again, and another one incomplete, and a flag down on the play. Third and short here for Howell. Trying to bounce outside Williams, but they're going to stretch him out. He breaks one right there, breaks two, and gets across the 50-yard line. Well, that was right on cue for a 13-yard gain. Positive way, they could critique each other's performances, and they find it really pays off. Right through the middle goes Carter before he's dragged down. Michael Carter with the gain for 15 yards. Off of, off of him, it's just incredible, the power. And the, the angry run of Javante Williams. So fourth down and short. And Howell is going to hand off the football and straight ahead it's Williams to pick up the first down. And that is the end of the first quarter. Carolina, Thomas Wolf. It really goes like that through the history of both schools. Howell looking downfield, lots of time. It's batted away and nearly picked off. As the football is loose and Howell will pick it up, but it's dead. As that pass got batted away, Howell Real had time, then pass. suddenly he didn't. Fourth down. Passing situation has not been the strength. You see him scheme blocking it, pulling the left guard, and Brian Anderson gets beat. Zane Zandier is there, and I have to tell you, this is a fumble. I thought so when it happened, but that ball is out. That's not an incomplete pass. Nobody jumps on the football. Sam Howell literally picks it up. That ball should have been live. That's a clear recovery, and I think he ends up running into the end zone. At the 16 for North Carolina. He's going to throw short and complete to Carter. Carter trying to make some additional yards as he bulls ahead. And he will get three back, and that'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, looking to get the Tar Heels on the board again. And that kick is up, and that kick is perfect. Believes they're a tougher football team with him as their starting quarterback. On third down, he's going to keep it, takes a hit, and dives across the 30-yard line. Armstrong unable to make much out of that play. If he has the decision, handing it to Talapapa might have been the right move because Tyrone Hopper is standing right there as he tries to keep you know, Bronco Mendenhall mentioned to, mentioned to us you know, we weren't sure what it was going to look like this season, but started to feel like some pretty normal Saturdays with all the college football we've been able to watch. Well, it certainly does. That's a 51-yard punt. Lawrence will not be ready to go coming back from COVID-19 against Notre Dame. There's a dart of a pass, and off to the races. There goes Brown. Choffrey Brown all by himself. He is into the end zone. And another gigantic strike on a night already filled with them. This goes for 76 yards. Option. They're going to block the run up front, but Sam Howell's just going to pull the ball 
from Michael Carter and just basically throw a slant to Joffrey Brown, the younger brother of Diami Brown, who had the long touchdown earlier. I think Mike Brown, or Mac Brown might say, are there any more that can come play <laughs> wide receiver for me? Brendan Armstrong back to full health. And they're going to hand this one off, and that's going to be Simpson again. We'll pick up the yardage straight up the middle. That goes for 13. I feel like they they have something else with how they use Shane Simpson. Flushed out of there now, Armstrong. Still on his feet. He'll slide ahead. And a nice run by Armstrong for 11. Time it's Thompson in motion. They'll hand off. He can throw it too as a quarterback puts it in the air. A lot of contact there, and that's why the flags are down. Interference. Here against North Carolina, second down and nine for the left-handed quarterback. He will fire that one. Nice catch made on the near side here by Jana. who's had at least one catch now in 22 consecutive games after that effort. Sensational catch last weekend against Miami. Armstrong over the middle and into the end zone, a touchdown. Rashawn Henry, well, the coaches were telling us midweek you may want to keep an eye on number 17, and he's into the end zone, an 18-yard touchdown reception. Earlier tonight, it just does a nice job of getting his body inside. Brennan Armstrong does a nice job of hanging in there with an unblocked defender running at him, finding a throwing lane. It's Damon Fox coming up the field, and that ball is right to the face mask of Rashawn Henry. And Carter, the running back, along with Sam Howell as they start this from the 35 and he's going to dart that pass and complete and that will go for 18 Simmons with the catch of the season how by the way eight out of nine passing and on nine out of ten and once again going to dart that one to Simmons then how back to throw pressure on him trying to spin away but he can't get free as he's taken down and a loss of seven, it was Nick Jackson. Second down, you see Nick Jackson's a cross dog. You see Zandir zero. Nick, Nick Jackson basically switched spots as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Leading the ACC with about ten and a half tackles a game. Virginia already with four sacks tonight. Out back to throw again. Airing it out, a long one to the end zone. And stepping out of bounds with the catch, but incomplete is Brown. Force a third and long. This is from 52 yards, and it's not going to get there. Put your defense in a bad spot defending a short field. Third and four, big play. He's trying to take off again, but that hole closes up on him, and down he goes. Trying to scamper for that first down, but never happened. Fox with the tackle. It loses six yards. Here, Brennan Armstrong, eyes downfield, but then next thing you know, like he's eager to run. And one of the things you can do if you're just going to rush four as a defense is twist up front. So see how open that looks, and then all of a sudden here comes Tamon Fox because you're twisting. Trying to get Virginia on the scoreboard again. Looking to throw. Good pocket. Fires and a completed pass. That had something on it. And Virginia picking up a first down. Jana. The good throw by Armstrong here. You see the zone. You see the two linebackers split. Gimmel and Surratt. And here comes Jana right in there. Good anticipation by Armstrong. A nice job of just kind of settling down in that hole by Terrell Jana. Of how well they have played at times. The stats kind of back them up from what they were a year ago. Again, trying to scramble, and down he goes. Armstrong, no place to run or hide there, and he'll take the loss of nine yards, and Fox with the tackle. You see Armstrong, he's looking to the top of the screen. He just ends up holding the football. Please reset the game clock to two minutes, ten seconds. Two ten, on, please. On that drive, it seemed like a fair amount of max protect situation. And so Virginia forced a punt on fourth and 24. Toe Groves with a fair catch, and he lost the handle on it, and they swarm on the football. Virginia says they have it, and indeed they do. First turnover of the game. Yeah, Toe Groves is coming up the field and just 
Now he doesn't squeeze the elbows. That ball goes right between his arms and possession when you think about the fumbled punt. Well, time to do something with it now. Here's on to carry Simpson. Simpson trying to bounce outside. Took a couple of hits before he's taken down. Poljan, who is such a reliable target for him, he's going to flare this one out instead to Kelly. Kelly trying to sideline, and out he goes. He got very close to that pylon. Our football player, top of your screen, you're just going to basically run a little traffic. Turn, look for the football, and what that does is it kind of sets a pick on Trey Morrison. And he's thrown for 159 yards so far. First and goal, Thompson bouncing outside, and in he goes for six points. Keaton Thompson is proving to be quite a weapon and has Virginia in the lead here in the final moments of the first half. To run this, look at how well this is blocked. Mm. This is an excellent job by Tony Poljam, the tight end of securing the edge, caving it all in, and then Wayne Talapapa doing a good job of leaning, leaning it up in there as well. We saw it last year, and I think it kind of applies to this situation here with a minute left. Still dangerous territory for Virginia when Sam Howell is pulling the trigger. He's going to throw long and a completed pass for a big first down. Complete to De'Ami Brown. How they can try to fool Sam Howell in this two-minute situation. He'll step back, look downfield. He throws and another completed pass spinning away. And Carter getting down to the five-yard line. It's Daz Newsome down to the five-yard line. That's a 29-yard pickup. A little bit of confusion, and when they do, they don't have leverage. You see Amos, the middle of the field, safety. Powell's had a big half. No timeouts remaining here for the Heels. Second down and goal. He's going to throw again, and that's again incomplete, but a flag is down in the end zone with 12 seconds on the clock. In Charlottesville, the second down and six for Armstrong. A little play action. Looking downfield, heading for the sideline with that pass, but it's going to be caught. And flags are down. Second down and seven for Virginia. And here he comes again straight ahead. And a big gainer as he is tripped up. But he'll get the first down easily for 16 yards he goes. Wayne Talapapa, 21, he's going to end up being a lead blocker. Look at him fly up to Gimmel, the middle linebacker, and then Brandon Armstrong just follows him. Kemp in motion. Armstrong looking to throw again, and it's complete. And right on cue, there's the tight end for another first down. That'll gain 16 yards. Try to draw North Carolina into some type of run defense when he's lined up at quarterback. Once again, before he is upended, but he's a very tough runner, too. Trying to knock off the number 15 team in the country. He's going to throw for the end zone and incomplete, intended for the tight end again, but flags everywhere on the play. Trying to gain serious control of this one. And Otala Papa, big hole, he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Wayne Talapapa, the junior from Hawaii. And another score for the Cavaliers. An impressive drive. Blown off the football here. Look at the left side of this offensive line. I'm not even sure that North Carolina is lined up correctly. You see Rankinsmeyer, Nelson just pointed down in there. Grant Mish. Puzzling regardless of who the quarterback is, but your quarterback is Sam Howell on a play like that. They gain nine on the first play. And now on the carry, Williams taken down on play number two. Stopped by Zandir after he gains four. You know, it doesn't wear on you the same way it does in a closer contested matchup. Second down six. Howell on the move. Can't get rid of it, and they're going to drag him down. And once again, Charles Snowden comes up along with Mandy Alonzo. Again, protection an issue. Double eight gap pressure. They don't sort it out. Zandier's a free runner. Now Sam Howell's got to throw it away. I've said it a number of times this year. Less adventure on throwaways. Throw the football away. Instead, he's stuck holding on to the football. Zandier and Snowden kind of have him corralled in, punch the football out, and Mandy Alonzo's there to pick it up. Third and short, Talapapa on the carry. As he is tied up in the center of the line, going to be close here. Fourth down and short. 
Armstrong will carry that, and he will pick up a first down for Virginia. Comfortable Brennan Armstrong looks running this offense. He is back to throw, and over the middle, right at the goal line, and diving in for the score is Paul Jan. Well, an outstanding catch, and then the extra effort, 17 yards and another Virginia touchdown. Oh, this is a bad idea. There's a middle of the field post safety, and you're throwing the ball to the middle of the field. That's a dangerous throw, but because Cameron Kelly... Back to throw. And indeed hits Brown on the near sideline, and he'll pick up eight yards. An offense that leads the ACC in total yards per game, 531. Second to Clemson in points per game, averaging 38. Powell complete again to Brown, and will pick up another first down. Bill Longo trying to get a look at when Virginia's bringing pressure. Quarterback will keep it, and Powell will move on out of bounds. Sam Howell with the carry. He's going to throw it short, and a nice grab made over the middle, and he'll pick up the first down. Makes to get the first down. Williams on the carry, trying to bounce outside. And it looked like the football came free for a moment, but no turnover. Nick Jackson with another stop for Virginia. He's going down, and yeah, that ball comes out there. It's Ed Montalus who's hustling down the field. So to the 15-yard line, Howell with only three incompletions in this one. Trying to dance up the middle, it's Carter, and he gets down to the 10. To make sure these backs are touching the football enough. First and goal, and as Brownie is into the end zone. Deami Brown with a reception for the touchdown. Deami Brown again, and it's one of those things where you know you have two defenders there to make the play for Virginia neither one of them can make it but it's it's a split zone run play all the offensive line comeback ball short against FSU for their only loss of the season and here goes Simpson once again Simpson breaking free of a tackle as he gets up near the 50 yard line stopped by Surratt but he picks up 30 yards with this run here away from the pressure that's coming and do a good job of covering everyone up and then Simpson does a good job of breaking the tackle from Kelly and the fact that Trevor Lawrence is not going to play against Notre Dame next week you're talking about an ACC championship it may come down to tonight for North Carolina and a tremendous play here on the near sideline on the pick and it's Gimble Going with the, the diving play the interception for the interception down. Early for North Carolina, and one of the things that can change that is a takeaway, and this is a great instinctual play by Gimmel. He's the inside backer. He recognizes what they're trying to do. It's actually Patrice Rene who's in the coverage, but he just runs underneath it and cuts it off And Brennan Armstrong. Third down and eight for North Carolina. Al in the pocket. Going to throw over the middle and finds a receiver wide open. It's Newsom. This is a great play by Sam Howell. He actually starts with them. Daz Newsom doesn't like it, goes back outside, then comes back to Newsom, isn't able. Third down and seven. Howell throws again, complete to Brown. Brown looking to scamper into the end zone, and he's in for a touchdown. Deami Brown again. That's a 13-yard touchdown strike for North Carolina. And just a little arrow route and just a great job of Dami Brown losing Devontae Cross. Just too much speed and then good strength running through the tackle from Amos. You see that there? Kind of sell the shallow cross. Brennan Armstrong throw the football. They will keep it on the ground and the carry is Talapapa as he stacked up in the center of the line. But able to move it, a flag down. 10.41 to go in this one. And keeping it on the ground again, it's Tyler Papa. He was also a star growing up in high school in Hawaii. Possibly even quarterback power. Tyler Papa stacked up that time. Boy, it's going to be close. 
Thompson back in at quarterback. Kemp in motion. Fake the handoff to him. He's going to dart outside. He's very difficult to bring down on the initial contact, too. And that'll get him the first down. J.D. Hollins with the stop, but too late to prevent the first down. Is a little bit over six minutes. And another carry continuing to stay on the ground. That was Keaton Thompson. Simpson with 70 yards rushing tonight. Strong is on the move. He's going to be sacked on the play. No place to hide that time for Brennan Armstrong. Thompson in the flat right away. It gets zoned off. And there's a defender out there. He doesn't like it. He's got Chapman running right at him. And he's fortunate as Chapman kind of chopped at that football with his left arm. See Armstrong kind of cover it up at the last minute. The 5'10 senior and a Virginia native gets this one up, and it is good. So Virginia now on top 44 to 34 over North Carolina. The team's confidence has kind of been evident because of it. Well, Hal needs some magic. He's going to fire this one complete to Brown, who will cut to the outside and meet the contact. Deami Brown, who's had a sensational game, picks up 19 yards. Better than a shorter drive that's seven points, you know, if you're Virginia, just because of the possession opportunities you're going to see here. A battle for this one, and the catch is hauled in by Brown, and a flag is down. What a fight down there. The goal line. The penalty goes for 46 yards. If you're Virginia, you just can't let anything over the top. We know the situation of the game. The grant allows them to do that. Then in motion, Newsom. The handoff, and straight ahead, it is Williams who is in for the touchdown. You know, it's kind of had everything that you could use to describe North Carolina's offense. The big play down the field, and then when you get down in tight, it's the hammer. It's Javante Williams running with power. Good movement up front, but it's Williams. Alongside Thompson. And Thompson will take the snap. He's going to try and bounce outside. Carolina giving chase. And a snap here to Thompson. Little slip there, but he stays on his feet. Still moving forward. Keaton Thompson with a spectacular play as he will pick up the first down. Basically, you know, on your own side of the field, and, it, and what a play by Keaton Thompson. This thing's designed to go to the right, and he just decides on his own to bounce it back to the left. And, you know, he, Bronco Mendenhall's talked a lot about Keaton Thompson is playing because he's one of our best athletes. We want the ball in his hands because good things will happen. And, Griffin, the putter, was in there, but they fake it. Talapapa trying to dance outside, but they stack him up. And he will lose a yard to bring up second Turn down. Out, North Carolina, their third and final of the half. Experience in terms of the win and loss, you know, of a football game. It's the... It's the process that they really are dedicated to, and their process, they've, they've committed to it, and it paid off tonight. And that's a gutsy play, you're right, and it's probably a necessary play when you, you know, saw all throughout the night how quickly North Carolina was able to strike. And so kind of like the calculated risk that Bronco Mendenhall took in that scenario and obviously was the right decision.